Okay, it's Brian Young. Uh, how's everybody doing? I'm going to do a, mo a video on the magnet. I had a people ask me about the magnet, so I'm going to do a, a, a video on the magnet of all the SCX cars. Uh, on the bottom of an SCX car, obviously, you have the bottom of the car. <clears throat> now, if you take the motor pod out, which the best way to do it is to bend the car a little bit, put your fingers like this, pop. Because you want to get this little nipple out of that little, like, uh, there's a little it, hole there, kind of like. I'm going to get you to see that. And that's where this little hole, this little nipple there pops out of the chassis, okay? And always put in the motor pod, when you're putting it back in, put it back front, okay? You put it in here first. Alright, so it's nice and neat in there, and then you just snap it, like that, okay? So we're going to take it off, put the thumbs like this, pop. Alright, so we got the motor out. Okay, this is the motor pod, okay? Let me get one without an axle on it. Okay, so this is a motor pod without the axle and without the motor, okay? On the bottom of the motor pod, you have a magnet, okay? This is the magnet right here, okay? Obviously, it magnetized. Wow, look at that. The North Pole, South Pole, and uh, North, South, East, West is probably in the middle. Okay, uh, now that I'm babbling. All right, now, if you, you can adjust the magnet two different ways. If you want the car to go slower and to have less of uh, coming off the track, you can adjust it outward. See how this magnet is out, kind of like? it. It's not flush with the chassis or with the motor pod. See that, how it's, how it's um, you know, sticking up? This is flush. See how that one is flush with the uh, chassis? See how that's flush? And this one is not. Well, that's because all you have to do is unscrew it. Okay. And the motor pod will come out a little bit. And you got to be get a good Phillips screwdriver or else you'll strip those screws. If you do, I got more of the pod. And you can adjust the uh, motor or the magnet out. You can adjust one end uh, out, one end in, so that gives you a different racing uh, characteristics. You know, you always say, "Hey, that's the way I like it." You know, and you'll just go, "I'm not going to tell anybody because that's my little secret." Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay, so that's how you can do uh, your. You can adjust it out. Now, you can also uh, take the. Um, the the magnet out okay now I'm gonna show you this because I gotta get this so you can see it though and that's the problem my camera let me zoom in on this there are two little nipples here and here okay and in the chassis or in the motor pod there are two little indentations okay one is here and one is here if you turn it, when you take it out and you turn it around, you can then screw it into the chassis. You see how this one is screwed into the chassis? Okay, where it's now in, it's further away. So now you can adjust your magnet. You know, it, you still have the power, but you don't have as much power because your magnet is moving further away from the metal. Okay, because magnets attract metal. Okay. Now, not aluminum, obviously, because aluminum doesn't collect electricity, but it's, it's a good, con I think it's a good conductor of electricity, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be mistaken. I am wrong 3% of the time. Um, okay, so uh, if you want to screw it in, you can screw it in, and then if you want to screw it out, you just, again, you just unscrew it. So, like, let's say you want to have one side, uh, you're going to have one side, uh, has more, uh, you want to give the magnet a little bit more power. See how now I've adjusted it kind of like at an angle, okay? So to recap quickly, there are little indentations in the chassis, and you can see them pretty good here, I think, okay? Right here and right here, okay? See right there and right there, there's a little in it. See how it's kind of like a, uh, they, they've made it so that the, the magnet or the, the magnet and it, 
the magnet mount has it on, on, on both sides too. When you buy it stock, it can only go so far. It can only go out and it can't go in any further. It can go in a little bit, but not much. So then you take it out. So let's say this was in here, okay? You unscrew it, you take it out, you rotate it like this, okay? And then you stick it back in and you screw it back in and now your magnet will go further in, okay? So let me say that again. When you buy it initially, it's gonna be in one position. You unscrew the magnet completely, you take it out, you rotate it, okay, and put it back in, and then the magnet will screw into the chassis like that. See how that one is screwed in on one side? Of course, I unscrewed the other side. All right. Okay, see how I screwed that magnet in way in like that? Isn't that cool like that? Okay. All right, so that's on the magnet, the SCX magnet, and that comes in the motor pod. We have two motor pods. I call them two pin and four pin. This is actually one pin, but it, it, there's two pins, one on the chassis, one on the motor pod that's holding this motor in. And then we have the four pod motor, which is in the FXXs and some of the newer cars that have uh, two pins here and two pins here that allow it not to move around in the chassis so much, okay? So... All right, uh, that's another video. If you want more videos done, just you know, email me. This was sent in by a uh, consumer who wanted to know about magnets. So uh, I'll do another one. Just let me know what you want me to do, okay? Bye.